everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, Want to give everybody uh, kind of an update on how things are. Uh, just about at 25,000 miles on the car. I did one when I first got the car, a review, and I did one at about 15,000 miles. So I wanted to go over some of the things that you're going to encounter uh, with this car as you uh, as you get up in the mileage. I hope people who bought it are satisfied with it. Uh, I definitely am. Like I said, I jumped to this uh, unknowingly, <laughs> just kind of signed the paperwork and and bought the car um, after being you know with BMW for a better part of uh, 21, 22 years. So I wanted to go over uh, the paint, the wheels, the tires, uh, maintenance, the interior, any kind of things that I think you probably should know about, um, gas mileage. So there are uh, certain things with this car that uh, you guys should probably know, uh, especially with the interior that's there because it's not leather, it's the Alcantara. And um, so I guess we could uh, we can get started on all that. Well, as you guys know, the paint is that deep green pearl effect and the car has been, or the paint has been just out of control. It, it is just so beautiful. It's really deep. I know that people go with the Navarro blue. I think you kind of get the same kind of effect uh, with the blue. Um, I'm not sure with, uh, with the other colors though, with like white or black. Um, I don't know if, if you're able to see the depth. I'm trying to get some sort of uh, reflection here from the sun. It's pretty uh, pretty hot and sunny here today in Southwest Florida. So um, the paint has been awesome. I did get the paint protection in the front. Um, I went through probably the first year of not having it and I regret it. So if you do buy this car, make sure that you get that. You As soon as you buy the car, you go right to the detailer and have that installed because in the end uh, you're going to wish that you did um, it doesn't seem as if though these the front end of these cars are prone to chips uh, given the the big front end you know that it's mostly a grill um, that is a uh, misconception uh, the front end especially with the sloping of the hood will definitely um, get a lot of chips it, it attracts a lot of debris from the road and especially here in florida where the speed limit is 70 um, i think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who does that the smallest bit of debris becomes a projectile and your paint is not made to take that kind of a beating um, i'm not sure with the exclusive paint if it's thinner um, or lighter than uh, the regular paint, uh, but I did get the PPF in the front, and and again, if you get this car, either have it flat bedded or bring it right to the detailer as soon as you get it. Don't delay. I know it's probably like another fifteen hundred dollars or so to to get it done. I had the front quarter panels, uh, hood, whole front end, and the side view mirrors done. I probably should have had the uh, the A pillars done as well. Um, but I didn't I figured uh, such a small uh, such a small area, but Looking back up. I, I wish I had done that. So uh, With that definitely get that um, If there's anything that I could put out there as uh, something to to save uh, The paint on this car because uh, the styling is beautiful Especially with the darker paint the last thing you want are some big chips in the front taken away from the look of the car um the other part to this is the wear and tear. So let's start with tires. Tires come, or this car came with the Continentals, um, which were like rubber, band, rubber bands on the car, um, or on the wheels. And it really made the rims susceptible to damage. Um, I have since, and those lasted about 14,000 miles. I have since switched over to the Michelin Pilot Sports. Um, I would highly recommend anybody who is at the point of changing out the tire or you want to change it out in order to save the rim, especially if you live in the Northeast or other places where you have potholes, um, 
I would not recommend going on the Continentals. You will destroy your rim. There is no two ways about it. Uh, however, if you do change over to the Michelin, there's a greater chance that you will, um, you, you have a, a better chance of not damaging your wheel. Okay, uh, these are not cheap to replace. So whatever um, monies are put into that, either uh, changing the tire when you first get the car or when you change it out, um, definitely worth. Uh, the the extra little bit um, actually replacement cost I think they're almost a one for one if the Continentals are maybe not a little bit more expensive than the Michelin's so um, but if you're gonna change them out as soon as you get the car it is gonna be probably another fifteen to seventeen hundred bucks to do that and uh, you know it all depends on where you live and and what risk you wanna uh, run in in uh, saving your wheel okay so with that outside no other issues you know the car has been phenomenal uh, the exhaust sounds just amazing especially in the morning when uh, when it's cold and you know with that especially when you have it in the sport mode it sounds it just sounds beautiful so um, the rims like I said uh, they look awesome there's nothing out there like them this is the uh, the black optic package uh, 20 inch wheel and uh, if you are looking to get one of these cars, I would highly recommend going this route. I know that some people go with the 19 inch to save uh, or to have a better ride quality. Um, you could always change it back to the 19s or get another set of 19s to put on there. Uh, but when you go with the Black Optic and the Sport Package, it's just a really, really nice combination of rim, wheel, um, or rim I should say and the red caliper uh, the wheels with the black ins insert and then de definitely with any color that you get that wheel is going to look beautiful so let's see here there's nothing else on the outside no issues no mechanical issues uh, for sure so let's Let's get to the inside here. Turn on the AC a little bit. It is about 95 or so degrees here. Um, the miles per gallon. So what I have here is, uh, this has been the, the long-term trip. So you can see that there's about 18,000 miles on there. I have about 25 on the car. So it's a good representation of what you're gonna do in this car, which is about 21 miles per gallon. I do a lot of highway driving, um, and, uh, and, and if I am on the back roads, they are usually long stretches, so it's not stop and go, stop and go kind of thing. So that is definitely what you're going to be averaging um, with, with these cars, so you just keep that in mind. Um, and I usually keep it on this setup of a uh, dashboard. So uh, to me, it's much easier to read the one number in the middle and then wherever the um, the gauge is going to show as, as RPMs. Um, let's see here. Carbon fiber. Now, carbon fiber, now, uh, I went on the website the other day. The only way to get this is to get the leather. I did not want the leather, especially here in Florida, um, because when it gets hot, leather gets super hot. So I, I like these as they stay cool, regardless if it's cooler out or if it's hotter out, they usually stay very neutral. That is no longer the case. If you get carbon fiber, you need to get uh, leather. So that kind of stinks uh, with, with regard to that uh, combination. I guess they, they get you on that. However, highly recommend the dealing with the <laughs> dealing with the leather and getting uh the carbon fiber the depth that is here on the carbon fiber is is really um is really cool uh it's just high quality all throughout the car um nothing that i could ever say that would diminish um my thoughts on how this car actually has been put together the quality all throughout um, top notch, no issues, uh, like, uh, electrical, electronic or mechanical, nothing at all. Um, there is some squeaking on this, on this, uh, chair back here. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably maybe a screws loose or, or somewhere. I'll, when I bring that in for the 30,000 mile, uh, checkup, 
uh, I will have them definitely take a look at it but the controls all work fine you know especially with the AC it can never be on high enough or cold enough everything has always worked here very easy to um, uh, access and and remember especially when you're driving um, so with, with that said uh, no issues there uh, you also have your USB port here so your music can be your phone um, if you have Sirius radio um, or you like to use YouTube as I do I don't have Sirius radio I created a playlist in YouTube plug it in and let it go uh, you can have a membership with the YouTube uh, I think it's like ten dollars a month if you don't want any uh, commercials to me a minute or two of commercials here and there is not a big deal so but you can set up that playlist exactly the way that you want it so to me it's definitely worth um, uh, having a, a playlist on YouTube and not worth paying the ten bucks or so per month but everybody that's that's their choice um, interior absolutely no issues uh, the door paneling you know especially with uh, the fabric here, uh, the Alcantara, along with the carbon fiber, and then the brushed nickel here. Uh, just such high quality. It looks beautiful. You know, I mean, the, the, car, the car just looks very well put together just on looks. But then also the quality of the car is, is just, um, to me, over the top. So I have no, no issues, no regrets, um, nothing with regard to... Um, the overall purchase of the car I want to double back to the paint uh, one thing and I post I think I posted this uh, on, on my channel I'm not sure though when I bought this car uh, the paint option which was on their website was a $3,900 option okay and since then not sure if it's because of inflation or what have you the price of the exclusive paint has gone up by two grand so basically fifty nine hundred dollars to do the exact same thing so it went up about um, about 70 percent or so so in essence you're looking at fifty nine hundred bucks plus tax and whatever you're looking at six thousand dollars for this paint now some people it's not a big deal if you go to Porsche and you put uh, you put that special paint on it'll cost you 10 12 15 grand whatever it is but everything is kind of relative you know this is a 65 seventy thousand dollar car usually on those Porsches you're looking at three hundred thousand dollars so to me it is kind of expensive to do this now um, if you really really like this paint I would suggest that you wait and hunt around to see one coming off of a, you know, either off a lease or whatever the case may be, um, in order to, in order to save a few bucks. Um, it, it is, it is a kind of a big amount to, 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 uh, to rationalize or, or reason away. Um, you know, six grand, you could put that towards the car or, or put it towards other options. Um, the Navarro Blue has always been my second favorite. That was um, what I was looking at uh, in, in comparison to this color. And um, obviously, went, I went with the green anyway. Um, let's see here. Interior fabric has been awesome. Um, and I'll show you my seat, obviously, which is the most used. Uh, it looks just like this. There ha it looks almost unused. I vacuum it at least uh, once every other week. Uh, make sure that no debris kind of gets stuck in here or anywhere else into the fabric. Uh, you got to make sure that nobody brings in any food because if, if stuff spills on here, uh, like a milkshake or, a, or somebody leaves behind a caramel or a chocolate bar, um, that is going to be problematic in trying to get that out. So um, that's the only bit of caution in going with this but again if you want the carbon fiber this is a non-issue um, <clears throat> make sure with the leather if you do have this interior that you do treat this leather okay um, it is really nice and it kind of gets forgotten about because a majority of the sea is Alcantara but make sure that you do 
<clears throat> excuse me, that you do um, uh, treat this with leather uh, cleaner and conditioner in order to make it uh, continue to look uh, to look new. Okay. If there's any drawback or any kind of um, negative, I, I should say, I, I guess there are two. The first one being, <clears throat> there is nowhere that you can put something and completely close it. You don't have a completely closable console here. Uh, I'm not sure why they did it this way. I know that it's easy to go up and down, you know, to kind of uh, grab onto it and lift. However, if you do want a level of privacy say you had your wallet or your phone or something else that you wanted to put in here and keep it out of the, out of uh, uh, other people's view you can't do that okay you, you'll have to do your uh, your glove box second thing is is even with a twin scroll turbo there is a little bit of delay of the turbo kicking in so um, I would you know you, you kind of have to plan for it you have to play with the gears in order to uh, make up for that 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 turbo lag and the BMW it was literally it was instantaneous which is um, in addition to the extra horsepower I think that has 382 versus uh, 349 here so the extra few horses and the um, the, the, the difference in the turbo kicking in really makes the BMW a lot quicker than this um, so that's the only thing that that kind of um, y you have to think about when when you're when you need to get on the car. Say you're 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 on a, uh, um, an on ramp, and you really need to get going. You really gotta you gotta pay attention to that and and go down a couple of gears, make everything kick in, and then and then you'll be off to the races. Um, I use for cleaning materials in here. Everything is turtle wax, pretty much, um, or or uh, or from Griot's Garage. So um, I posted on my YouTube video what I used on my 3000 GT, which I have since sold. Um, but uh, it's all turtle wax synthetic, and it just does such a beautiful job, especially the the polish. It's it's a little bit more expensive than than the normal. Um, you can't find it. Um, at say AutoZone or what have you, you do have to go to eBay, okay? And that's where, uh, you know, it's in limited supply. So capitalism gets in there and they kind of charge you, but there's there's no reason why you can't negotiate with, uh, with, with the seller. Um, back here, it's like brand new. Um, I don't have uh, visitors in here all that often, but when I do, um, it's it has held up very well. Um, and again, with the leather, treat that leather. Uh, don't don't forget about it. Um, you do have the ability to adjust your AC back here, which is really cool. You have your charging ports and um, your uh, your cigarette lighter back there, which you can also use for for charging. Uh, here's here's a good example for the synthetic. This is what I typically use. And um, it's been it's been awesome. I'll pay the extra to get that outcome. It's unfortunate that they don't continue to make that product. Let me show you the front seat here. It's worn very well. You know, like I said, it had it. I, I love the way that it changes the color uh, depending on how the fabric is uh, is brushed over. But um, definitely uh, make sure, I gotta clean that, but make sure that the, the leather, especially here on um, uh, the, 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 the driver's seat is always, always um, conditioned, okay? Because this is, especially this part of the seat here will take a beating over time. Let's go to the back. I do have the OMB sound system and uh it is uh it's it's awesome so if you're going to get this car uh do not get it without that o b system uh this is what i have here i found this out on ebay as a uh windshield uh deflector so this way i could park the car without the uh the sun getting in there tons of room back here never did i not have enough room i actually put all of the uh the wheels that were on my RX-7 in here 
and brought it to the uh, uh, to the local dealership here to because uh, uh, I because uh, I had the uh, I put the original wheels back on the RX-7 and those wheels with the tires fit in here perfectly. So there's more than enough room when those seats come down. And mechanically, no issues. Like, like I said, there was just that one particular issue with the lag. Uh, if you want to call it an issue, it's really not a mechanical issue. It's more of, a, uh, a, a, of, of an opinion. So, but knowing how BMW is set up and how, uh, how, how quickly that car is, uh, uh, how, how quickly it spools up, I would say that Audi really needs to tweak the turbos on this car in order to be equivalent for that or to that. Who knows what they'll do? I think 24, they're coming out with a with a refresh. I'm not 100% sure. Um, hopefully, they won't go electric uh, because to lose the sound is and in the feel of the car, you're kind of losing the soul of the car. So. Uh, hopefully that won't be the case. Unfortunately, it seems like everything's going in that direction. So hopefully uh, it'll uh, the momentum will slow down. So these kinds of cars will be here for for a little while longer. Anyway, um, we covered the tires, the wheels, the mechanicals, um, the interior, uh, gas mileage, and kind of just did some uh, some overview of the uh, uh, the, the carbon fiber. And, uh, and the kind of package that now you need to get in order to get that. Um, if there's anything else that you guys wanna know, definitely put it in the comments, let me know, share the video, um, because uh, you know a lot of people have, have um, reached out to me about getting s into these sport backs, which I think looks much, much nicer than the two-door. I think it's more, and especially that back deck lid looks just beautiful on, on this shape of a car, the silhouette. So. Sorry about that. So definitely um, look at uh, look at giving me any kind of feedback, any kind of comments, and I will uh, I'll chat with you guys soon. Thank you.